Hello everyone and welcome back to Night Fix. I mean Daybreak. Today we have a new update inside of Daybreak that features something exclusive. Guys, if we head over to the killer section and we click on the... Why is nothing loading? Oh, right when I said that. It's almost as if I'm God. <laughs> uh, make me a millionaire. Okay, no, I'm not God. So if we go to the idol killer inside of Daybreak and we scroll all the way down, you guys can see those three letters you know what those three letters means all right who said i'm an idiot who said that guys we have a jmt killer skin inside of daybreak we have not had just one game that has gone ahead and included me inside of their game i, I do these videos because i enjoy them i play these games because i enjoy them so it's it's very cool to see the appreciation you know flow back um i do i, I do appreciate it 100 percent. but let's go ahead and read a little message here from the jmt skin a horror obsessed content creator his entire life has been devoted to slasher video production and killer sagas being surrounded by not only the loving passion of his community but the terror of each video he's grown to think everything is real whether he's slashing keys on a keyboard or slashing up his latest victim the only thing holding him back is corrupted fame whoa and of course the only way to go ahead and actually get the skin redeem a code to unlock this skin so if we head over to the store guys and we go to redeem a code and you use jmt all caps and you redeem that code you will now get the jmt slasher skin and 320 gems as well as 3200 coins for you guys to go ahead and use to purchase either killers survivors skins whatever that may be inside of daybreak or night fix is 100% up to you. But of course, guys, go ahead, use that code. I would very much appreciate it if you guys would use the JMT idol skin inside of Daybreak. But this is an update video, of course, so Daybreak does have a huge update that just came to the game just now. So let's go ahead and look at all of the new changes, all of the new little juicy details that Daybreak now has to offer for us. So they had a huge new update, and this update actually includes two new survivors, one new killer, a new map, new faces, new skins and quotes, big bug fixes, a huge ban wave for all of the exploiters who did the devil's work. If you exploit, don't think you're safe, okay? But we're coming for you and balance tweaks as well so we head over to the survivor section oh my gosh i can look at the new faces already look at the new faces for everyone they all look more uwu -woo. i can't believe i just said that i won't lie i do like these faces better than the other ones before i do think that these give you unique is what i'm trying to say it makes them look more lively instead of just the normal roblox little dot faces that they had to offer this is way better in my opinion said i cannot pronounce these names we're gonna call her ali they have ali and they have Elijah. I can pronounce Elijah right. So for Ali, the speed and the stamina stats seem to be the, the ones that are up the most. So I wonder if this is going to be some type of, you know, looping character, which I can see at the course control, which is her little ability thingy, Majiggy, that this might be true. So course control, after 15 seconds in a chase, Ali will block off the next vault that she uses, and this ability will deactivate when the chase ends if it's not used. Oh my gosh, this is 100% a looping character. If Ali is in a chase for 15 seconds, which of course, 15 seconds is a long time, you gotta be looping for quite a bit. Ali will block off the next vault that she's gonna use, so therefore the killer can't go ahead and chase her. Doing so would probably stop the chase, which is why it'll probably deactivate this ability. I'm guessing it's just a one-time use to go ahead and block off a vault when you're 15 seconds in a chase. And then if you stop the chase, you won't be able to do it again. But if the chase starts back up, I'm guessing you'll be able to do it again. So this is going to be a very nice looping character added into the Daybreak game. Next, we have Elijah. Stamina and Composure are the top two for Elijah here in stats. The difficulty is new, I think. It says the difficulty for using each avatar, and the difficulty for Elijah here is hard. So let's go ahead and read what he has to offer here. So his ability is called Breakthrough. After being inside of a locker for five seconds, Elijah can open the locker to briefly stun the killer, if they are in range, of course. And they also gain a quick burst of speed. So basically, with Elijah's ability, whenever you're inside of a locker for more than five seconds, next time you open up the locker, I'm guessing you'll be able to briefly stun the killer if the killer either opens it or if you open it or if just the killer's near the locker as well and then when that stuns him you get a quick burst of speed to get out of that area when the killer is being stunned this will also be another neat survivor added into night fit daybreak my bad okay it's getting out of control i know so these two characters added into the game definite likes i cannot wait to play as them and to see how we can actually use them inside of the game with the new map that came in the game as well so we get to 
go ahead and check out the new map added into Daybreak. All right, they also had a new killer added to the game called the Banshee. So the Banshee, also known as 7,000 year old woman. Try me, bitch. Oh, she did not like that. <laughs> She's like, what'd you say to me? Her speed is almost all the way up there. And the fear radius size is low as well. So it looks like a little bit of a speezy. I just said speezy. <laughs> looks like a little bit of a speedy character. And the difficulty for using the Banshee seems to be easy. So let's look at the passive ability for the Banshee. Wailing Wisps. After the Banshee downs or kills a survivor, all survivors will have their vision radius decreased as the mist closes in. So whenever Wailing Wisp passive eventually gets activated, when Banshee downs or kills a survivor, all of the survivors on the game will have their radius decreased. So it's more of like a vision little passive to go ahead and decrease on the survivors. And if we look at the active ability for the Banshee called Shriek, the Banshee lets out a deafening shriek causing survivors currently working on gens to make them explode with bonus reduction. Additionally, she gains a temporary speed boost for each survivor near her when she shrieks. So let's say if there are a bunch of survivors working on a generator right next to the Banshee here and she shrieks, she will get temporary speed boost for those survivors. For each survivor, by the way, so this can stack. Those survivors who are currently working on those gens will explode. So basically what that means is that you fail a skill check on a generator and then it has a bonus reduction. So you have to go ahead and actually build up the generator process even more generator controlled killer probably that's what i'm kind of getting here and it looks like they also have some little like descriptions here for each survivor and killer now so it says what the survivor and the killer can pretty much do so here we are playing as the jmt skin oh we got the pan do you guys remember if you say something naughty you get the pan oh yeah look at that Oh, it's so cool. We got the little pan to use. And this is an idol character, by the way. I love playing as the idol killer inside of Daybreak, so that is 100% why a JMT will be an idol skin. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to make a pan sound effect when you go ahead and hit someone. You love to see the pan in the hand, am I right? Am I right? jmt merch wearing man also what's new in the game is it shows above a character what they're kind of using now because what's new in the game is if you get your character to like a certain level i think it's level 10 maybe it's not level 10 i could be completely wrong but once you get the character that you're playing as to a certain level you can actually unlock their like abilities and then you can go back to your main character and use those abilities so that's why it shows it above the head now so it doesn't get confusing and here we are playing as the Banshee on the new map, by the way. So this is the new map inside of the game that they just added. Oh boy, is this still in? This is graphic over here. Let's see. Oh my God, someone got their target practice in Jesus. I played this in the dev build for Daybreak and the map was actually it, it decently sized. It is a small map. You should be able to get around the map pretty easily. As you can see, all the generators piling around. Most of them are kind of sectioned in the middle, but this is like a campsite little map. So there are a lot of cabins around that would probably make for easy and door and locker uh, looping inside of the game. Just like the other maps where the trees knock down and you got the little loop pattern there. They got that added into this map as well. So don't fret for those who like to go ahead and do something like that. These little cabins are pretty much spread around the entire map. So they got lockers in there if you want to use the new avatar, of course. Because he's all focused about the lockers in the game. So he's going to be very good on, on a map like this for sure. So as you guys can see, Jaiku will be on the generator here. And we should use the ability. And then once we use that ability and he's on the generator, it should do a skill check fail, blow it up. The progression should go down quite a bit. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So Jaiku is now on the generator doing progression. And if we use our ability... It just made him do a skill fail, and now it's going to take him longer to go ahead and actually do that generator. And then, of course, we got the CSGO little blade here for the, for the knife, so hi, Sha. <laughs> but that's pretty much the Banshee. That's kind of what she does. If we did go ahead, and I can't really show it unless I had, like, a perspective from Jaiku here. If we did have a perspective from Jaiku and we used the passive ability, basically the myths around them, the visual for playing as a survivor would just decrease a bit. But anyways, that is the Banshee killer added into the game. Let's go ahead and check out the new two survivors. So here we are playing as as Ali. Heck yeah. She's got, I think this is a dog trainer. That's what the description was, which is why there's a little dog paws and necklace. Or I, at first, I literally thought that they were earbuds. Okay. I'm listening to some ghost man or something. So Ali here should be a pretty good looper. Whenever she's in a chase for 15 seconds, the vault would be blocked off for the killer. All right. So we got the killer next to us now. So we've activated the chase. So now we just got to wait 15 seconds and then we'll do this little vault thing. I think it just activates automatically. This is gonna be a passive ability. And then we will activate this little passive. So now this thing actually lighted up. That wasn't 15 seconds. That was way faster than 15 seconds. But since this lighted up, 
I wonder if it's actually in good use to use now. So if I hop over this vault, it should block it from the killer being able to use it. So I just hopped over that. Can the killer go over that? No, he can't. The killer can't go over that until now. So on Jaiku's screen that I was playing as, there was actually a little blocked off barrier above this, and he couldn't go ahead and go through that. However, that is way faster than 15 seconds. It's more like five seconds. All right, guys, so that's pretty much what the Ali character kind of entails. So let's go ahead and play with the next survivor here, Elijah. Here we are playing as Elijah. So Elijah's ability, for those who don't remember, is we got to hide in a locker for a certain amount of time. I think it's five seconds for a very short duration, of course. And then when we pop out of that locker, we should be able to stun the killer and then have a little quick burst of speed to then escape the killer. So we'll go ahead and use these lockers, for example. We'll hide in there for five seconds, and then we will stun the killer and see the uh, speed that Elijah can actually go. All right, so the killer is here. Oh my gosh, very spooky. Oh, it is now spacebar to open up lockers and stuff instead of E, I think it was. So spacebar to do that now. But let's hide in the locker for um, five seconds. And then um, let's have the killer get close to the locker. So now when Elijah bursts out of it, as you can see, the abilities uh, glowed up there in the bottom right. So now when we open this up, it stuns the killer. He can't move right now. I thought there would have been like a little confused, you know, like a cartoon, like for a cartoon, for example. Okay, when someone gets hit with like, let's say a frying pan, it has the little birds flying above their head. I thought it would have done something like that, like they're in a state of confusion, but it doesn't show that at all. So you guys just got to know when you're playing as Elijah and you hide in a locker for a short amount of time and actually use the ability, it'll stun them and they'll still look like this. You just won't visually be able to see it. But that was playing as the Elijah Survivor. All right, guys. So that was pretty much everything inside of this new Daybreak update. I love the killer skin, the JMT killer skin. Again, huge thank you for the killer skin. It's awesome to use. Every time I play Daybreak now, just, just let you know, I'm going to definitely be using it. Okay, thank you. Guys, hop into Daybreak now. Get yourself the new killer and the two new survivors because they do look like pretty good additions into Daybreak. Enjoy everything that Daybreak update has to offer for you guys. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. My name's JMT, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.